Also tonight, activist, suffragist, reformer, Mary Burnett Talbert was a force for change and she left her mark here in Buffalo and beyond. Talbert died almost 100 years ago. Her final resting place is right here in Buffalo. And as 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley shows us tonight, her life and legacy are still having a profound impact all these years later. Her biography is now being uh, disseminated widely and people are absolutely amazed uh, that she did these things, that she's a Buffalonian. Dr. Lillian Williams is an expert on civil rights activist Mary Talbert. The University at Buffalo professor hosted a Zoom conversation Thursday titled, For Such a Time as This, Mary Burnett Talbert and the Struggle for Social Justice. She led an anti-lynching campaign in response to the atrocities that were perpetrated against blacks. Talbert moved to Buffalo after marrying William Talbert, and they lived on Michigan Street, where the Michigan Street Baptist Church is located. It was at her home where W.E.B. Du Bois visited and formed the Niagara Movement in the late 1800s. And they talked about equal protection for black people. They talked about education. They talked about uh, the vote for uh, African Americans. Dr. Williams compares Talbert's fight more than 100 years ago to the current Black Lives Matters movement. 50 years before the modern civil rights movement. And here we are about 50 years beyond that and fighting the same, the same fight. The UB historian encourages the new generation leading the current movement not to give up. If Mary Talbert, under the circumstances, achieved what she did, you can too. Dr. William tells us she was instrumental in making sure that Mary Talbert's name was part of the North Campus when it was under construction back in the early 70s. In Amherst, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.